And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I am your host, Kenneth Grunfelder, and as always, it's great to have you guys here on this Tuesday. We have a lot to talk about on today's show. Uh, Before I get into uh, what's on today's uh, rundown for today's show, I just want to remind you guys uh, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized, make sure to go to streamelements.com slash slash tip. Again, that really helps the show. And then for bonus coverage materials that are not covered by this broadcast, make sure to go to patreon.com and search up GSMC Sports Network, and that is where you can find all the exclusive content, um, whether it's for my podcast or all of the other podcasts we have as well. So I just wanted to go over that before we get into what we're going to talk about. Obviously, uh, you know, and of course uh, on the bottom also it has the link uh, for the donations and tips um, as well here. So um, for today's show, obviously uh, the first topic, we're going to go over last night's game between the Chargers and the Cowboys. Cowboys picking up a win 20-17, to so they improve to 4-2 and on the season. I just knocked down my earpiece. Uh, so yeah, they improved to 4-2 and on the season. Chargers, they dropped 2-3. and three. So uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, the second part of the show, um, we will get into the power rankings that were released this week. So I'll give my thoughts on that. In the third part of the show, uh, I'm going to talk about the Detroit Lions and whether or not I think they're Super Bowl contenders uh, after this week, going into week seven now. Um, and then for the final part of the show, uh, we will go through the uh, the current standings uh, throughout the league, um, you know, and where all the teams currently stand at the moment. So let's get right into the uh, the first topic, which is talking about uh, last night's game between the Cowboys and the Chargers. So I had the Cowboys winning this game last night, so I ended up being right. So I ended up maybe, well, I don't really want to call it salvaging my week, but, um, you know, I ended up getting this game right. Cowboys, you know, like 20-17, to 17, of course, as you see on the bottom. Um, but, yeah, I mean, not a lot of scoring in this game. I mean, you would think with these two offenses that there was going to be uh, it was going to be a higher scoring game, but that was not the case. I mean, it was kind of sluggish um, through uh, most of it. But the Cowboys, that was a huge win for them. Uh, last night, Dak Prescott, uh, 21-30, 272 yards passing and a touchdown. He also had an 18-yard uh, touchdown run in the first quarter. And it was it was a nice uh, – I, I thought it was a nice play call. He faked it to Pollard. Uh, they actually, like, could have lost the ball there, but Dak was able to keep it and uh, take it right up the gut through the middle and nobody, and completely faked out the Chargers' defense, and he was able to take it in, and that was his uh, – that was the first score of the game for the Cowboys. Um, he actually ended up being their leading rusher. Tony Pollard only rushed for, thir- uh, for 30 yards. Um, C.D. Lamb was their leading receiver, seven receptions for 117 yards. Tony Pollard had 80, hit a big 60-yard uh, reception, which, you know, was kind of like a, you know – a play that he made on his own, really. Um, he broke a couple of tackles and uh, got the got the Cowboys set up there. Um, Brandon Cooks, he had four receptions for 36 yards and a touchdown, so he scored his first touchdown with the Cowboys. Um, Stephon Gilmore had his first pick as a Dallas Cowboy, and uh, Jalen Tolbert, um, he uh, had a fumble in the game. Uh, that was actually on the... Um, uh, towards the end into the game, that actually set up the Chargers to score, to uh, to tie the game. Um, was that fumble, and that was on the uh, the punt. And uh, yeah, it was kind of interesting because uh, you know the Chargers kind of knocked one of the Cowboys players into him, so he you know he wasn't able to make the play. And then another Cowboys guy came over. Or I think it was Tolbert. Yeah, he touched it, and then the Chargers jumped on it. So the Chargers that set up the Chargers, and they were able to capitalize off of that. Um, yeah, and that was that was late in the game. That was in the uh, that was in the fourth quarter. Um, yeah, so they uh, yeah, so they said he was d- that it was down, but then they reviewed the play, and uh, yeah, so it ended up being Chargers ball, and then they scored a touchdown on that, and that was Justin Herbert passing to uh, Gerald Everett on fourth down, but then the Cowboys on the final drive of the game, or not the final drive of the game, but. Uh, well, final drive for them, 
Uh, 14 plays, 50, 40 yards, almost five minutes. Uh, they went down the field, kicked the field goal to go 20 to 17, and then um, Herbert threw the pick to Stephon Gilmore, and then they just kneed it down, and that was the end of the game. And uh, yeah, so then on the uh, other side with the Chargers stats, uh, Justin Herbert went 22 of 37, 227 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Um, was sacked in this game. Chargers really couldn't run the ball here. Uh, Austin Eckler, he did make his return. To the field yesterday, had 14 carries for t only 27 yards. Herbert had 20 yards. Yeah, the Chargers really couldn't do anything on the ground. Uh, Keenan Allen continues to have a really good season. He was their leading receiver, seven receptions for 85 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Joshua Palmer had four receptions for 60 yards. Eckler had four for 35. Um, Gerald Edward had a touchdown, like I mentioned before. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, a very low-scoring game, a big game for the Cowboys. They were able to secure the win. And, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, we'll see what happens now going forward. I mean, the Chargers, I still think they're a wild-card team. But, um, you know, I, I uh, you know, that last night wasn't very encouraging. And also, Justin Herbert, he's dealing with uh, an injury. Um, he was wearing, like, a, a sleeve around his non-throwing uh, hand. So, you know, he wasn't – he was kind of off last night. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens going forward, but they got a tough game in Arrowhead this week, so, uh, we'll see what happens there, and, um, you know, for the Cowboys, I mean, that was a, you know, that was a win that they, that's a game they should win, and that's exactly what happened, I mean, they still didn't look great offensively, but, you know, Brandon Cooks, you know, got a touchdown, um, you know, you'd like to see them run the football better with Tony Pollard. Obviously, he did have that big, you know, reception, but that was, you know, a, kind of a, you know, he, he he did that all by himself. Um, you know, that was kind of a short pass that, you know, went almost a distance. But you want to see him running the football better. But they got CeeDee Lamb involved. He, he did very well last night. So that's encouraging. The defense, you know, held up for the most part. Um, but... Yeah, so a good win for the Cowboys. Uh, we do actually have a uh, comment in the chat, uh, Kashan, who, um, you know, is the host of the, uh, the college football podcast and the uh, the basketball podcast. Uh, so he's asking about his commanders, uh, saying what's the deal with his commanders. Now, um, that's obviously a team the Cowboys will have coming up on their schedule and who's in their division. I, I mean, listen, the Sam Howells looked good. Sam Howell has looked good. Uh, did have a rough game against the uh, the Bears, but, you know, still, well, in the beginning. But he uh, ended up almost passing 400 yards. Um, you know, he's doing some good things with the uh, with the commanders. Uh, the defense, you know, forced three turnovers on Sunday against the Falcons, so that's encouraging as well. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think they're a team that's heading in the right direction. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, but... You know, you got to like what Sam Howell is doing offensively for them now with Eric Bieniemy being there as their offensive coordinator. So, you know, you got to like what they're doing. So that's kind of my thoughts with the uh, with the Commanders. But back to this game. Um, yeah, just again, very sluggish. Uh, Dak Prescott. You know, he was okay last night. Um, but I I don't know. For me, like people are talking about like on first take, there's a topic. I think are they in the same tier as the Eagles? I still think the Eagles are better. Um, you know, but again, that's a game that they should win. And, um, you know, now they're four and two and listen, that that's big for them because if they drop to three and three, I mean, and they, they got a tough schedule coming up. I mean, they play, they play the lions, they play Seattle, they play Buffalo, Miami, you know, you still got to play the Eagles twice. So there's a lot of tough games on the Cowboys schedule moving forward. And this was one of those games that they should win. And that's exactly what they did. Now, I'm not going to, you know, sit here and say, yeah, that, that they're back now. No, I mean, I still think that, excuse me, they're a team, they're a playoff team, you know, they're, they're going to make the wild card, but they're going to get knocked out because I just think that there are teams that are better than them. I still think the Eagles are better than them. The Lions are better than them. And, of course, the 49ers are. You know, obviously, two of those three teams had rough weeks losing, but... I still think that the Cowboys, uh, they have ways to go before, you know, you could really say uh, anything about them being, you know, in the same tier as these other teams. 
So, um, yeah. And then also Kashan says, uh, there's rumors around the area that the enemy could be the new head coach next year. I mean, you know, we'll see. Um, obviously Ron Rivera hasn't really taken that team far since he's taken over. So, you know, and I think a lot of people have been talking about the enemy, you know, actually getting a chance to be a head coach. So, you know what, if that's the case, you know, that'd be good for him, you know, see what he could do. But, you know, it, it, there are some encouraging signs of what this offense has, uh, you know, been able to do and what Sam Howell has been able to do this year. So um, we'll see what happens there. But, yeah, I mean, uh, with the Cowboys, you know, back to that again. Um, again, another great uh, comment there. Uh, you know, I just, um, for, for me, I, I just still look at the Cowboys as probably like the fourth best team in the NFC at the moment. Um, you know, I think the Lions have really kind of, you know, put themselves, you know, in the conversation, kind of closing the gap. And we'll get into that in the, uh, the third part of the show. Um, I just look at them as the third best team. Cowboys, I, I think, are fourth. Um, but again, like the NFC really, it's top heavy. So, you know, the Cowboys kind of by default are like, you know, top five team, but in the conference. Now, overall, I would not put them as a top five team. You know, maybe top 10, but, you know, not top five. Um, you know, they still got, they, they still got more things they have to do. And I, I and I just, I'm not a Dak Prescott believer. I, I, I'm not. I really don't think he is the guy for them. I don't think he's gonna he, he can bring them to the promised land. He's a he's a solid quarterback, but um, you know I just don't think he's the guy that's gonna bring the Cowboys to the Super Bowl. You know I think their best chance of winning was 2016. That was their best chance right there because they had a loaded uh, they had a great the the best offensive line in football. You had prime Zeke. Um, you know, you had arguably like the, they were the offensive uh, rookies of the year. Those two guys practically, you know, it, I think it was given, it was given to Dak, but you know, um, you know, I think that was their best shot. They were the one seed, but that just, you know, that didn't happen. Um, so, and, uh, you know, for the chargers, I, I mean, Justin Herbert's not a hundred percent. I think they, I think the other thing, too, is they kind of miss Mike Williams. I think that's also going to hurt them, you know, going forward. Um, you know, Keenan Allen's having a great season. And, you know, Joshua Palmer is a nice receiver for them. And you get Eckler back, which is huge. But I don't know. I, I think for me, um, you know, I probably, you know, they're going to be fighting for a wild card spot. But it doesn't get any easier now because now they got to go to Arrowhead to play against the Chiefs. And if Herbert continues to play, you know, like he did – yesterday you know it's going to be kind of a rough game for the char for the chargers especially because the chiefs defense has looked pretty good this year so um although the offense you know is a different story but you know the chiefs defense in arrowhead they've looked good so um we'll see if the chargers could get back on track here cowboys they go I, they go into the bye week um feeling good now after uh you know picking up a win there and again another uh you know, another skirmish before the game started. They were, they were, uh, both teams were going at it. So, yeah, I don't know what's been going on lately. But, yeah, so, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, Cowboys, they, uh, after they come out of the bye, they'll be playing against the Rams. So that could definitely be a, a dicey game. Um, even though I haven't really, the Rams, that, that's a winnable game. Um, I, the Rams haven't looked bad, but they haven't looked like, you know, how they were, like, you know, the Super Bowl year. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with the first topic of the show. So with that, we are going to take our first break. And when we come back, we are going to discuss the, uh, the NFL power rankings, uh, that were released, um, after this week. So stick around and we will be right back here on the GSMC football podcast. <laughs> 